Hi there. Welcome to Idea Tutorial number 5. This video will cover 1.3.1 Info and Relationships Success Criteria of WCAG. This success criterion ensures that the information and relationships implied by visual or auditory formatting are preserved. When the presentation format changes, this helps people with different disabilities by allowing user agents to adapt content according to the needs of individual users. Users who are blind using a screen reader benefit when information conveyed through color is also available in text, including text alternatives for images that use color to convey information. Example a form with both required and optional fields and the instructions at the top of the form explain that required fields are labeled with red text and an icon whose text alternative says required the red text and the icon are programmatically associated with the appropriate form fields so that assistive technology users can determine the required fields Things to consider when applying accessibility solutions for info and relationship success criterion. Number 1 Semantics. Number 2 Data Tables. Number 3 Programmatic Labels. Number 4 Group Related Form Elements. Number 5 Lists. Number 6 Headings. Let's discuss all of the above in detail. Semantics. Elements of the user interface must be used according to their meaning, not because of how they appear visually. Information, structure, and relationships conveyed through presentation can be programmatically determined or are available in text. Semantic markup refers to marking the web in ways that provide information about the content itself rather than information about the visual styling of the content. It is critical to ensure that assistive technology users can understand your web. For example, to mark up the headings on the web page, increasing or decreasing the font size. Instead of using proper HTML heading tags, H1 to H6 will not help the screen reader user. Using correct HTML tags for headings allows screen readers to know that the information is a heading and correctly communicate that information to the users. Always use appropriate HTML to mark up the web. This practice will also help with SEO, search engine optimization, purposes. Data tables. Data tables organize data with a logical relationship in grids. An accessible table needs an HTML markup that indicates header cells and data cells and defines their relationship. Header cells must be marked up with DH and the data cells with DD to make them accessible. For complex tables, explicit associations may be needed using scope, if, and headers attributes of HTML. Simple table example. For tables with content that is easy to distinguish, mark up header cells with th and data cells with dd elements. In the examples on the next slide, the screen reader reads out the cell value with the header so that the screen reader user can consume the information correctly. Complex table example. The table on the next slide has header information in both the top row and the first column. Again, all header cells are marked up as TH cells with scope attributes added. Programmatic labels. All the form fields should be associated with their corresponding labels. To test this, turn on the screen reader and tab through the form fields and verify that the screen reader announces the text label. 
An example of a screen reader announcing the form field label is on next slide. Group related form elements. Grouping control is the most important for radio buttons and checkboxes. Because the individual label associated with a radio button or checkbox control does not convey the group context. So the group label must be programmatically associated with a group of controls. The field set element provides a container for related form controls. And the legend element acts as a heading to identify the group. In the example below from W3C, there are three radio buttons that allow the user to choose an output format. Radio button groups should always be grouped using field set. It also applies to related fields. For example, the shipping address group with multiple form fields comes under one group label, shipping address. Lists. Items looks like lists on web page. Must be marked up using real HTML lists elements. UL, OL, DL, or div role equals list and role equals list item. Unordered lists are used when the order of the items is not relevant. List items in unordered lists are marked with a bullet. Ordered lists are used for sequential information and are automatically summarized by the browser. Example of unordered and ordered list. Headings communicate the organization of the page content to assistive technology. Use HTML heading tags to mark up the headings. The most important heading is H1. And the least important heading is H6. Skipping heading levels will confuse the screen reader user. Ensure that H1 is not followed directly by an H3. It is okay to skip headings when closing subsections. For example, H2 begins the new section and can follow H4 as it closes the previous section. Each web page should have at least one heading H1. Key combinations to go over the headings using different screen readers. Using NVDA, press H to navigate forward and Shift plus H to navigate backward. Using JAWS, go to the next heading HN, to show list of all headings use insert plus F6. Using voiceover. Control plus option U and then the right arrow key show the headings list. This example shows. Headings on a web page using voiceover on Mac. Thank you. For any questions, contact us. www.clarionsite.com Email at clarionsite.com Accessibility is not a barrier to innovation. It is innovation. Innovation is often used as an excuse for avoiding accessibility.